Yes. Yeah, it certainly was a very uh, seesaw in first half of footy and uh, the Kangaroos got the jump on us pretty early. Uh, I think they got out to about a five goal to one lead and then got another quick one so they were up by about five goals. Uh, we fought back late in the first quarter. He's a superstar. What a player. Two to McAdam, six goals to one five. Probably had about eight possessions already in this game. Kick it towards full forward. No mark taken. Rodgren gets rid of the opposition. Shot for goal by Rodgren. Wonderful kick. Second goal for Adelaide. We, uh, we had a great second quarter. I think we kicked about five or six goals. And uh, we snatched the lead going into half time. But uh, certainly it was a very entertaining first half of footy for the crowd that was there. McGuinness goes with a left foot and puts it through. Well, that's sensational footy, isn't it, Jared? A great, great stuff, that great young man. Robin, a kick from uh, 40 metres, drop punt. Good looking kick. Goal. What a season he's had. Ten goals. Six it was an unbelievable performance because I think it was, by memory, it was only probably his fifth or sixth game of AFL footy and he just burst onto the scene in the, those first few games in 93. But to, to kick ten goals that night, particularly against Glenn Archer as well, who obviously would become one of the most feared defenders of the game. He's kicking towards centre-half forward. High leap. Gee, that's a great... Yeah, if I take it off him, he wouldn't have got his 10 goals, so I'm happy to uh, happy to give him that. But I think the great thing about Mods too as well was he was just such an accurate kick as well. For Adelaide. The man of goals his kick is, would be of a concern, but uh, I don't think North would have too many better players. Very important kick for Adelaide. Modra. Good kick. It's a goal. I mean, I think every Crow supporter would uh, have fond memories of that mark he took. Modra! Oh! That is the mark of the year. I'll say now, no one will beat that. That's the biggest leap since Jill Porter ran second in the 56 Olympic Games. Standing on the head of Ian Fairley and I think Mark Micken as well with Glenn Archer right in his hip pocket, but he certainly took one of the great all-time marks. It really is. Well, he's certainly setting Gary Ablett a task now. Have a look at that one. Jezelenko took a ripper in a grand final. That one was second to none. And he kicks his seventh. I'll oh, give him the key to the city, Robbo. What a mark, what a goal, what a match. As Robbo said, that will be the mark of the year. It's Here probably, we go. Probably the best mark ever taken on this ground. 17-10 to 13-8. 112 to 86. Well, I reckon, yeah, we were about nearly four and a half goals down at three-quarter time, and then Wayne Carey and, and Adrian McCadden both missed what you would consider easy shots at goals for them and I think had they kicked them the game was probably beyond our, uh, our reach and it drifts across through four gathered by McAdam McAdam with skill class kicks misses to the right hand side we slowly you know, inched our way back into the game Robin kicks his third I guess once we got on a roll and with the crowd support behind us, it uh, was almost we were a bit like a freight train. Very difficult to stop. Kick. He's got it. I'm sure we all lean back, Bruce. Let's see, Robbo. Back he goes. Drop punt. Bang! It's a beauty. Four to Robin. For goal number nine, and the difference will be just four points. He's kicked it. That angle will look difficult, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know if it would for him. At this ground, these players just produce feats. Rose shot. It's a goal. Going for 10. And he kicks it. McGuinness has got the ball.